Evening, everybody. As the saying goes, if you do the crime, you do the time. But some Hawaii lawmakers believe there needs to be a change in our legal system. The idea is to allow suspects charged with a crime to be released before they go to trial, but only under certain circumstances. Alexander Zane's got answers on how this could work. Representative Kaniela Ng and other lawmakers believe the current bail system is broken. Right now, in the, in the current system, if you're rich, uh, you can, you, you're innocent until proven guilty. But if you're in, from an indigent community or like the, most of us who are living paycheck to paycheck, uh, you're going to get detained even before you're even deemed guilty. Ng says one of the biggest problems with the current bail system is that low-income people are more likely to stay in jail. Right now, five out of six people who go to jail can't afford to pay, so Ng believes we should get rid of the bail system entirely. In its place would be a risk assessment process that would determine if someone could be released from jail until a trial. This is just for people who are nonviolent, who are not a flight risk, um, just people like you and I. The criteria that would be considered? Is the person a flight risk? Are they likely to appear for a trial? And are they a danger to others? I spoke with University of Hawaii law professor Ken Lawson. And so what this reform does is it says, listen, uh, judge, just make them appear on their own recognizance. Unless you can find compelling evidence, clear convincing evidence that this person is a danger to the community or they won't come to court. Lawson says the bill would require prosecutors to provide objective evidence as to why someone should stay in jail. What this is saying is, listen, the poor people are the ones that are really suffering. Those that can't afford their bonds or their bills have to sit in jail until they get their day in court. A lot of compelling arguments, but I guess the question that I have, a lot of people probably have is, doesn't this potentially make it easier for dangerous criminals to be set free and let back out onto the streets? Well, Howard, Representative Ng tells me that wouldn't be the case. He says the risk and public safety assessments are a better way to determine whether a defendant will commit a new crime or fail to return to court. The bill also mentions this would be a way to reduce jail populations. It does still have a long way to go, though. It just passed first reading today, but we'll keep tabs on it. Howard?